What is going on, you lunatics? We're looking in on what happened. Why is $62 million being moved to Duquan from a Terraform Labs account? Or is this Duquan's? And why is it being moved over to an unknown wallet? Does the SEC know about it? Something really weird is happening over here, but we'll have some clarity on it in very short order because if they were to do that or have done that, then this could be a significant violation of the settlement reached between the SEC and Terraform Labs. And this would throw everything into jeopardy in their context and order an immediate shutdown. So I don't think that this is a problem. I don't think this is an issue. In fact, it could be that they're moving the $62 million in order to make a payment to the SEC. Uh, that could be that they're going to start doing it. But there's some interesting stuff. When you find this wallet and you see what's in it, then, you know, perhaps there's going to be a, a, a real good reason or a real uh, a nice opportunity, if you will, if you're in the Luna Classic or USTC community. So make sure you hit the like button on the way in and let's get after it. Okay, so first of all, is the SEC aware of Quan's gigantic Bitcoin transfer? First of all, let me let me let me do this. Let me let me let me back up a sec. Um this is gotcha journalism. Nobody knows if this is Duquan's wallet or if it's Terraform Labs wallet, right? So what people are doing is ha gotcha to try to get you to click on the link. So I'll probably do that in the in the the, the thumbnail too, by the way. So if you got in here because of that, aha. Uh -huh. It's important to delve deeper into the Terraform Lab legal woes. Bitcoin transfers made to the wallet belonging to Duquan are on the agenda of important pages. Now, does it belong to Duquan? No, it does not. Arkham Intelligence, known for, uh, known, known for tracking all of this stuff, they know that it belongs to Terraform Labs, not to Duquan. And how do we know that? Well, they've labeled it up here. And how often does Arkham make mistakes? They do make mistakes, but rarely. And they've had plenty of time to know exactly what this wallet is. And in fact, if you go through here, they've been tracking this thing for a long time. So they know exactly what's going on. Okay. Now, let's take it a step further and go back here. Um, 1,075 Bitcoin were transferred to an unknown wallet. And again, this question is, is the SEC aware? It doesn't matter. Uh, the SEC is probably overseeing this entire thing. Now, here's where it gets interesting. The interesting portion to that is what's in the wallet. So what can we expect to see burn? Because they're going to have to burn everything that's in the wallet. Of course, less than uh, whatever they have to pay out. But we go down here and we see UST and look at this. There's multiple different bags of UST with different pairings totaling over a million USTC. Not a gigantic burn, but a big but but a big burn. And we should we should recognize that. Also, Luna Classic, there is currently a hundred million in just this wallet alone. So there are significant amounts of different cryptos that are in this wallet. Uh, 50 million Shiba Inu. Uh, there's a lot of different stuff in here that might end up getting liquidated or, you know, whatever in approval. Uh, also, look at this. There's a Trump token over here. So something uh, some people are sending crypto, and you look. If you look through here, you'll see 25 USD, uh, 279 Dogecoin. You look at the dollar amounts over here. You see just a couple of bucks, and why? Because they want you to see that uh, the, these cryptos, that, the, these cryptos, they want you to see that. So what they do is they populate the wallet with a bunch of different, you know, smaller tokens to make it look like these people are actually investors. They're not. They're just uh, money's being thrown into this wallet. Okay, so uh, Terraform Labs will probably have to burn a lot of this. And, and here's Convex that they were uh, doing right here. This is Curve, um, or Convex, goddamn, uh, uh, G-O-H-M. So they do have a significant amount of supply on some of these other projects. But again, primarily the most important part is Luna. They're going to burn uh, 399 million Luna, uh, 1.45 million USTC, 99.5 million Luna Classic. So there's a significant amount of burn coming through here uh, that's going to happen from this wallet. So we should actually be kind of excited about that. Now, let's move on to an interesting thing that's been happening right here. I'm going to get through this as quickly as possible. So with the current situation around Genuine Labs and the tax to gas work not progressing or the version developed uh, by GI not working, the on-chain tax will be suspended. This means the tax is set to zero. Uh, there is confirmed interest from some projects in working on Lunk, which is failing due to the on-chain tax. That's none of this is true. That None of this is true. Um, it, it, is it failing because of the on-chain tax? No. Um, but this is somebody who wants their bag pumped. Now, I don't, and I don't mean that in a bad way. We all want our bag pumped, but um, you know, there's no purpose behind this, and none of this, <clears throat> none of this is really a hundred percent true, 
it's deceptive and you're being deceived by comments that are being made. And for clarity, let's go to some of the comments, okay? Uh, first of all, on March 1 of 2020, this is from Mr. Diamond Hand. You guys know him. He's part of this community. Lunk Live and Genuine Lab start a collaborative journey that would open more channels of communication, reach a wider audience, and address the current communication concerns. By the way, Genuine Labs is known to go dark for extended periods of time because they are in a different country. I believe they're in South Korea or something like that, uh, or Vietnam, or, you know, some somewhere uh, in an Asian community, and they're not really very active on um, uh, on social media okay now here's what happens here on june 6 of 2024 lunk live and genuine labs made the collaboration and statement through uh this is the x there's there's they made a statement about it and genuine labs that they thought that they were going to do this on a volunteer basis as a genuine lab spokesperson uh and here's what's going on currently genuine lab isn't able to provide clear and concise information to lunk live in order to address community concerns developers concerned that any of the common uh, communication practices between layer one development team and the block team We've also been mia since august 24 of 2024. now and the question is do they uh what are they doing and that was tax to gas uh then they put out a proposal to get paid before it launched which is pretty much a no-no and they later clarified hey we made a mistake uh when this is ready then we'll put it up for a proposal so please vote no now was that a trick to try to get paid early i don't think that it was but it looked that way it, it, it certainly looked that way however um and look if you're if you're one of those kind of guys that would scheme and scam and stuff like that you might look at it and be like oh scheme and scam but if you look at it and you say hey um a, 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 an organization that's trying to do stuff is working on something and they're, and they're doing it in the background and they made a mistake or one of their people made the mistake and posted uh, this proposal up without having it uh, approved or thought through or anything like that because there was a time for something like that. There's a there's a there's a very there's an opportunistic moment for an honest mistake here uh, because they knew that you guys are smart enough to know how this works. And you don't make stuff up like, you can't have a bunch of validate. You know, you don't make just stuff up in your brain and be like, well, it's the law. Only some people do that. So on August 24, Lunk Live had their last interaction with Genuine Labs in the form of a meeting in which we discussed community concerns, security concerns, and possible solutions to address this in a short period of time. However, after this meeting took place, no further contact was made on their behalf regarding the endless communication attempts. Again, this is not a point where um, I don't think that I don't I don't think at this point Genuine Labs has ghosted. They're not taking money from us. They're not doing anything. Uh, to try to wreck the, the whole community or, or the system or anything like that. They're a developer trying to develop. So, again, they're known to go silent. How does this respond? So now, uh, Vin Wen uh, is trying through their connections, uh, who also endorsed Genuine Labs to take over the L1 work for the Lunk blockchain, is attempting to make contact. Stay tuned for more updates. And so now Vin Wen, who Diamond Hands is now pointing the finger at, saying, hmm, 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 you're the guy that endorsed it. You guys figure it out. So um, now let's come into this. Vin Wen says, to provide context on this incident, Vietnam's Independence Day is on 2-9, which is September 2nd, and comes with a four-day break. It's not surprising that GL members are taking a vacation and are away from work during this time. They wouldn't abandon the upgrade when almost done like this. So he's saying, look, just because you're American and you're nervous and, and you need answers doesn't mean you're going to get answers and clearly these guys are vietnamese at this point or at least vin wen now knows uh, or knows that they are so he is going to try to make contact with them but from september uh, 2nd to uh, 3rd 4th 5th they're on vacation so we won't know anything probably until tonight in which they will just randomly kind of appear and you know maybe they're just taking some time don't know but maybe they're just taking a little bit of time off and as you scroll through here um and there, and there we go. These guys are pretending here um, uh, that, you know, fair enough to know about Vietnam. Here in Germany, we give notice when we go into holidays. And you know what? That's fair enough. Like, like, do you give notice? Genuine Labs has never given notice and said, hey, oh, by the way, there might be a holiday, so we're not going to be here. The question is, are they working in the background? That's all. That's really it. So this is much ado. In my opinion, it, it is much ado about nothing. First of all, let me say this. You can't do anything about it anyway. So what are you doing right now? What you're doing right now is you're stirring up a community 
over what amounts to, at this point, nothing. You voted on tax to gas, it didn't cost you anything. You waited for tax to gas, which didn't cost you anything, and now when you don't get the response from tax to gas from Genuine Labs, now you're turning it into a stink, and that's that's really disingenuous. I, I really think that this is a bad this is a bad play overall. Not not that Diamond Hands is not right. Not that he's not right. I just don't think that he is. And I think that Genuine Labs is just putting in work in the background or taking a vacation in the background. And as soon as it's working and doing what it's supposed to be doing, then we will know. Also, Strathcole has a response here. And what he's talking about is the, the test net. Nobody's testing. Here, here's the thing. Nobody's testing on test net the tax to gas for the, for the implementation, so it's just been sitting there. Now, and here's what he says. To the validators, you that are meant to be the guardians of the chain, as often proclaimed, is it asked too much to spend just a few minutes running some simple transactions on Rebel 2 testnet, and I don't even start asking you to join the testnet with a validator, is it asked too much to care about making sure inside your capabilities an upgrade will work? I don't understand in the slightest way how such an important core-related upgrade could, would, would just would slip through as if it's all fine. By the way, it's not his primary language, not his primary, primary language, so um, first of all, I'm going to stutter sometimes, and he's going to make me stutter even more because translation. If you have read it in the Val chat recently, this upgrade would have uh, broken the chain, and yet since it was deployed on testnet, no one has run any tests there in seven plus days. Now, um, these are your validators, by the way. These are the guys that you're staking with. So um, there, there's, and he's fr frustrated with. What makes me angry is that this specific potential issue was even pointed out in the code review. And what's even worse, it would have been easily cached with proper unit E2E test case. So to another point, to the DAP, stop using our mainnet as your test ground. Plus, stop it. You pollute Columbus 5 with countless test codes and contracts. We're a working test net. We have a working test net. If you want to develop on Terra Classic, then take the effort and deploy your stuff on Rebel 2 for testing. This should be absolutely mandatory and out of the question. So there's certain certain things that he's getting annoyed with. And, and here, there are 850 contract codes deployed on test net. More than 90% of them are from Frag Dude, uh, which is uh, Frag Verdig. Uh, from Juris Protocol, White Whale and myself, some uh, a percentage from the early days. I repeat, no DAP not taking part in this testnet has the right to complain if an upgrade makes their stuff fail. And yes, there are, there are lacking docs, but there's many people behind uh, willing to lend a helping hand. And, you know, again, well, I'm going to say this one more time. There's no website. There's no protocol. Uh, there's no documents that would really kind of help you in this. You're just kind of on your own. Uh, and, if, and if nobody understands that that's a problem, then nobody understands the problem. Um, but it is a problem. So on a final note, it wouldn't care much about Lunk uh, that much. I would have let this uh, just let you learn the hard way and and just said, you know what, but who cares? Now, uh, one of the things is he did have to come back in here into this thread and address like, look, I'm not leaving Luna Classic. This is my passion, but I am frustrated by some of the things that have been happening over here. So um, it, it is important to note that uh, there's a lot going on here with Luna Classic and a lot of developments that are happening happening behind the scenes. And all of this is the shakeout before breakout, if you will. And, you know, I'm joking about that, of course, but, you know, that's really what this comes down to is that, you know, everybody has to kind of uh, work their way through errors and problems before we get to the solution. Unfortunately, that's just kind of the way it works. So, um, and again, it's exacerbated because Genuine Labs goes on vacation, assuming, of course, that they're just going on vacation. Um, guys, we're in accumulation phase and Cryptonomy.finance is the place for you to go in order to stake. You guys have seen what I've staked so far. So what I'm going to do is I have 10,000 XRP six months again wondering what the bull phrase is going to look like 32 percent yield off of that so off of 10,000 xrp i should have 13,246 xrp when i'm done minus fees boom we're ready for the bull run we're going 20,000 into the bronze level all right we got twenty thousand dollars into this pool we're in the bronze pool right now you can see the details of what i've done so far uh how much i've earned off of it uh, my earnings have been just exponential have they been exponential, you might ask yourself? Well, these guys are investing into each one of these launches and look at some of the results that they're getting. They're they're picking and choosing the best launches. ZK Sync, four and a half X, uh, Ethora three and a half X, Sharp Psi, 3.5 X, Coin Pays, 4.7 X. The, they're looking for real solid projects to invest in and then they're getting this big yield out of it. So if you want to sign up at cryptonomy.finance today and remember this bull run is coming, 
Don't miss out. We'll talk to you again very soon. They could be as frustrated as anybody else and nobody's testing their stuff and figuring it out for themselves or anything like that. So, you know, there, there's a lot to unpack under this. Uh, so we'll see how it develops over the next couple of days. Now, uh, to burns real quickly, we, we had another big burn over here for 2.5 million. Nobody knows who that is, but 1.457 billion over the last seven days. Again, that includes 1.1 nine eight billion from luna classic uh, from binance so not a lot being burned right now not a lot of transactions if you look at the volume over here down 48 percent to 8.89 million if you look at uh terra classic down to 3.296 million so you know there's a there, there's a struggle to find new investors and when you look at the broader crypto market you're seeing another big down day and look we got to zoom out here and we have to start calling this for what it is. This is the Bitcoin chart, right? This is where we are on Bitcoin and this is where we are on Luna Classic. It's doing the same thing. Now, as you guys may have noticed, I told you the other day, look, we're coming back in here for a perfect retest off of this range, um, this descending channel, their descending flag pattern, uh, if you will. It's coming down into this. We made a perfect retest of it and then bounced strategically right off of that and started to, to accumulate and come back into this range. Now, I would suspect that we're probably going to continue on again with the market willing. Uh, and then we get up here for this big test in this little range right here. And I do think that we're going to have a test right here, right underneath because of all this volume and this node that's right there. So I do think that getting to 95 uh, before that's going to take a little bit. Uh, and if we do happen to break through that and get up into that 95 range, we are coming back down in here for a test of that level. And if we use a fib tool, then from this, which is probably the impulse move for the reversal, if that is the case, then it would probably come into, you know, I would suspect that if we impulse, then it would be up to three zeros like 10 to 49. I'm wildly guessing, by the way, I don't know anything about whether or not that would be the case. But in the event that we get successful testing, then, you know, what everybody likes, what does everybody like? Everybody likes the golden number right here. Uh, this is the magical number. It's the 1.618 right there. So that means three zero sixteen two ninety nine is the ultimate target in a bullish scenario. So where does that correspond with that big yellow line I've been showing you for a long period of time? So, um, you know, I, I mean, I don't know what to say other than it's right there in front of you, bros. So that's what I think is happening on the chart. So I'm going to think uh, that we're going to have an impulse move. But again, this market needs to uh, bring in some capital because we're at 1.96 trillion overall. And if you come back over here, uh, we were at 2.7 trillion at, at this point. So you know we have capitulated quite a bit and we did not make it back up to the top of this range on this last move. Now, if we don't do that, then what you can see is market structure has weakened. This was our range right here. Uh, now here, we didn't even come up into that range. Now you see that didn't happen there either, right? We got a move down, then we got an impulse move back up. So it's possible that that plays out the same way. But also before that happened, we had another capitulation. So if we're doing the same thing, then could this be the capitulation that leads to that big move? I don't know yet. Uh, here's what I do know. I know that the market looks pretty weak. I know that there's no real motivation sort of factor or anything like that uh, that's motivating the market. The ETFs have been having outflows for a couple days. So, you know, we're in a difficult we're in a difficult place right so basically we've got some downward momentum coming before we have upward momentum and that might shake out a few more people that's just a, a sad reality of what's going on and what we're doing now that does mean that another test of 407 is probably in the cards at this point i'm not saying that it is i'm just saying that it sure looks uh and if not if we get a successful retest down here we may already gotten it again bouncing off of this uh, we might have gotten what we needed and the market's just moving slowly. It's always a possibility. If not, there could be a breakdown here one more time into that 4 zeros 54 39 range. Uh, and, and again, I would suspect at that point, a strong, strong bounce. But let's move on because look at this chart makes me in. All right, so... Um, we got a new player has entered the arena, and that is over here, Frog. So we're going to talk about that one real quick. Okay, so we got Frogstrick over here, and this is Frogstrick NFT token. And I don't speak whatever that is, but uh, let's do this. We're going to take a moment here. We're going to go to the web. And we're going to check it out. It's a smart contract built on the token bonding curve mechanism, a main utility token of the Frogstrick ecosystem. Uh, you can stake it right here. You can stake your NFT over here. Uh, there's plenty of different things that you can do. There's a double yield protocol as well. 
uh, and here's what we're looking at right now. These are the supporters so far. WWW, um, Whale Watcher, whatever that's called, uh, Terraport, and CoinHaw. So this is tradable on your, your familiar places. And then you have coming soon the Pixel Pack Peer-to-Peer -peer NFT Swaps, Frog Fraction Protocol, and then you have your white paper over here. Not out yet, but it's coming soon. Then you have three different at Big Bang X Marketplace, Amphibians, Frogstrick Army and the Sweetie Frogs. And then the NFTs in the Miata marketplace, you have Frogstrick, you have the Amphibians, you have the Frogs Kaiju, and then you have the Code Bots over here as well. So plenty of different NFT projects for you to check out. So uh, it, it, it would be awesome if you did. Now, uh, the token is tradable again on uh, WW Terraport and Coin Hall. So if you are so inclined, certainly go check this out. Like I, I keep telling you guys, it is important for you to get into, get these things into your wallet. You just, you never know when this thing is gonna rip. $50, what I get every single time. And look, um, I got 33 from, from I, I got 33 on this one. Don't ask me why, I just got 33 on this one. But um, it was a round number. So, um, but it's still $33, right? So um, that's fine. And then when you come up here, like food token, I got $50 in food tokens, now worth $80. I got uh, $50 in boys tokens, it's now worth $176.80. So, you know, some of these things will absolutely rip at, at some point. So it is important for you to have just a little bag of these things because, you know, they, they could just take off and you never know when they're going to go crazy. Uh, so after, with, that, with that said, uh, there's some talk right now. We could be looking at some changes on Terra Casino where you should be going in order to use all your different cryptos. And that includes adding more cryptos to the mix. So currently you can use Bitcoin, you can use Ethereum, you can use BNB, BUSD, you can use Lunk, Luna Classic, uh, you can use USDC, USDT, but there's more chains, there's more availability. There's more viability uh, if you accept different types and, and, and more cryptos. And as you can see right here, business has picked up. You can see this is moving way faster than it was before. Um, there, there's a lot more people out here playing and they're playing every single day. And then what's important, at least for you, is if you're helping, then you're the one that's helping Terra Casino be the seventh burner out here, having burned 382 million uh, total Luna Classic. And that is a big number. And uh, that is, look, a lot of people complaining about Terra Classic don't burn nearly as much. So uh, that's kind of weird, right? We could admit that, right? Terraport Finance, same thing over here, number 12 overall, uh, burning a lot more than people who are complaining about Terra Casino or Terraport. Let that sink in. So, um, uh, if you haven't already, you should certainly go check out Terra Casino for all your risk-based gaming. And uh, don't forget that Terra Port is the place to go for trading. We just showed you Frog Token is over here. Uh, we just showed you a couple days ago that the Rocket Token has launched. We've got Luna Classic, Juris Protocol. We've got a bunch of different pairings. We've got the Boys Token with uh, paired with Lunk. We've got Bunk boys token paired with lunk lunk paired with boys we have, there's a whole bunch of different options over here and trading pairs for you to use and utilize in order to learn to make a profit etc etc so uh, and we got the new 3.1 which was a, a needed upgrade to this chain and to this system also again you only have a little bit left that 16 percent apr uh for that 14 day lock period that is it right now that is all you get so uh, I would be uh, looking at that and and I would suspect that uh, you would want to like lock this up so that it is absolutely sold out uh, then you're gonna get into farming and liquid staking right there to earn some yield off of it and uh, what's next on the launch pad there's gonna be something else out here so trade on terraport.finance sponsor of the channel trade at terra casino sponsor of the channel these guys are here for you burning more tokens than many of these other places that are complaining in the same way so uh, let me know what you think by the way in the comments down below uh, 62 million transferred over from from terraform labs i think it's for paying the sec but i don't know uh, a lot of argument and fighting over here with genuine labs but you know i don't think it's a, a big deal i think that we're just nervous nellies uh but you know what I, if i'm proven wrong then ouch um but i believe in the best in people so uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below remember this is not financial advice but i'm always ready